Hi, welcome back to BioVet. Today we're actually going to be looking at two different cars in today's video. We've got a Sebring Orange 2019 ZR1 convertible and a 1961 Resto Mod. Let me tell you a little bit more about each car. The 61 Resto Mod is just that. It's, it's basically the ultimate Resto Mod. Original body with completely custom engine, transmission, rear end, full chassis, and suspension. This car features silver exterior with a light silver cove, and it also has red custom leather interior. The engine is a LS3 525 horse, and it's coupled to a Tremec six-speed manual transmission. This car has all the options you'd want on a resto mod, power steering, power brakes, air conditioning, and it has an electric opening hood. Today's focus of the video is the different types of oiling systems in your Corvette. So as I mentioned earlier, this car has an LS3 crate engine and it is a traditional wet sump. And basically what a wet sump means is it has an oil pan at the bottom and the oil pump picks up oil from that oil pan, circulates it through the engine and then gravity drains back down to the oil pan. So being a traditional wet sump, to check the oil in this car, you do it cold without the engine running and you pull the dipstick out and wipe it. Put it back in, bottom out the dipstick, pull it out again, and that is our oil level reading. You can see it's right up to the third dot, which is perfect, and as you can see, the oil looks brand new. And this is the 2019 ZR1 convertible. This has the LT5 engine with an automatic eight-speed transmission. This car is Sebring Orange, and it has the Sebring Orange design package. That includes the splitter side skirts, also the custom interior that has the orange stitching, competition seats, and other items as well. This car also features the ZTK track package, which includes the high wing that's very desirable. It is pretty rare because you don't see many ZTK convertibles. This car is track oriented, so it has a dry sump oiling system, where the 61 has a wet sump. And basically what that is, is it's how the engine receives oil. On a dry sump system, you have a tank here that's a long cylindrical tank, and it pulls oil out the bottom and feeds the oil pump oil from there. There's also a scavenge pump that as the oil drains back from the top of the engine, it pumps it back to the tank. So you have a tall cylinder, so no matter what maneuvers you're doing with the car, the engine never starves for oil. And now on the other end of the spectrum is the dry sump. Um, you're not gonna check this oil like you would a wet sump with the engine off. Cause if we pull the dipstick now with this engine cold, you're gonna see that it's barely touching the stick. That does not mean add oil. There's a specific process. So on a dry sump engine, what happens is the oil that's in the engine will drain back to the oil pan and the pump doesn't have a chance to return it to the dry sump tank. Therefore, the tank is gonna register low on oil. If you were to add oil to the tank to fill it up, you're gonna overfill the oil system. So what we have to do is we have to start the car, run it till it gets up to operating temperature, turn it off, let it sit for four to five minutes, and then we'll check the oil again, and then that's the actual level of the system. So once the vehicle has reached operating temperature of 175 to 180 degrees, we'll turn it off and then we'll let it sit for five minutes and then we'll check the oil again. So as we pull it up, we'll wipe the stick off to avoid drips. We'll put it back in. And as we pull it up, that is the actual oil level of the car. Thanks for tuning in. Hopefully that sheds a little light on the differences between a wet sump and a dry sump performance oiling system. And if you want more information and more detailed videos on each of these cars, check out our other videos on our YouTube channel where we have highlight videos of each one. We'll see you next time.